I mean, what's better than a streusel topping? Hi, I'm Amy Traverso, Senior Food Editor at Yankee Magazine and co-host of Weekends with Yankee. And today I'm making blueberry buckle. And it's in that family of cobblers and crisps and Bettys. And a buckle is a fruit cake that's topped with a crumple topping. So our first step is we're gonna put four tablespoons of unsalted butter and three quarters of a cup of sugar in a bowl. So the butter is softened and that's to allow it to mix better. It also will incorporate a little bit of air as we mix it, which will help the cake have a better texture. My butter and sugar have been mixing for about three minutes and they're getting fluffier. And so now I'm gonna add one egg, which I also have at room temperature. So my mixture is nice and pale and fluffy, so now it's time to mix the dry ingredients. Here I have two cups of flour. I'm gonna put this in a bowl. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. Now I just whisk this together. You'll see, this cake is so easy. If you have never made a cake before, make this cake. So to finish the mixing of the cake, I'm going to be adding milk and the dry ingredients to the butter mixture. And I wanna alternate them. And lastly, I have some frozen Maine wild blueberries. I really like Maine wild blueberries as opposed to regular high bush blueberries because they have a nice size for this cake and they have a really nice intense flavor. It's okay if they're still frozen. These are actually still frozen and they'll thaw it when they're baking. And then I just mix the blueberries in by hand until they're evenly distributed. So now this batter goes into a cake pan that I have greased with some butter and it'll just spread this out. It's pretty thick. It doesn't have to be perfect because as it heats up in the oven, it'll just spread out by itself, but kind of get a roughly smooth shape. So like a crisp, a buckle has a streusel topping, and this is a very simple one that just starts out with half a cup each of sugar and flour. And then we finish it up with a little bit of butter, four tablespoons, some cinnamon, and a tiny bit of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna use my pastry cutter to just work the butter into the other ingredients until it looks crumbly. And the final step is we just pour this streusel topping over the cake. And just to even it out and level it, I'm just gonna bang it on the counter a couple times. And now this goes into a 375 degree oven until a cake tester comes out clean, which is about 40 minutes. My blueberry buckle is done. I really love the way it looks. I baked it until the top was just turning golden brown. I love how the blueberries are distributed throughout the cake and that's from the hand mixing. It has a nice rise to it and a really nice texture. I'm gonna take a little bite here. Mmm, the blueberry flavor is really there. And then that, that streusel topping, just, it just makes it so perfect. I mean, what's better than a streusel topping? Just that hint of cinnamon is perfect. For the full recipe, visit newengland.com.